Vegan, because we are love inside out. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Gwen the Rescue Hen. It's a story of a hen who dreams of something more. Until a tornado sets her free. Into the world of rescue animals with Miss Leslie Crawford, vegan. Part 2 of 2 on Kids Wonderland. Continue watching to find out more. If you have a chance to visit the picturesque country Montenegro, you may be greeted with Dragomie. This means nice to meet you in Montenegrin. My name is Javanka. The pure-hearted Montenegrin people send their silent prayers to all corners of the world. Welcome to our show, Into the World of Rescue Animals, with Miss Leslie Crawford, Vegan, Part 2 of 2. Miss Leslie Crawford is an experienced journalist and editor from San Francisco, USA. An animal lover, Miss Crawford lives with her companions, Bix the dog, four pigeons, and eight chickens, all of whom are rescues. Miss Crawford and her daughter are both vegans. Let's find out why they decided to adopt this diet. I became a vegan, I would say, 100%. It's only been about a year. Uh, I've been a roller coaster vegetarian and vegan um, for most of my adult life. And it was really only because of my daughter, who is now 15, who became a vegan. Especially during the pandemic, she's been just watching more and more videos and studying. And she became a vegan and I said, okay, of course I'll do that with you. I've always wanted to, and it's funny, these things that it's like I write about in my books where you know things and then you kind of put blinders on for whatever reason, maybe to make it easier for other people or kind of crazy reasons like that. Like, well, it's difficult. I don't want to make life difficult for who, you know? So I was so happy she did that. Miss Crawford's books show us how amazing animals are and why they deserve to be treated like family and friends. In the previous episode, Miss Crawford shared with us her first book, Sprig the Rescue Pig. Today, Miss Leslie will introduce us to another one of her books entitled Gwen the Rescue Hen. Did you know chickens are good at math? They also love to play with the people they trust. Since there's a lot more to know about chickens than what ends up on our plates, we've published a children's book celebrating Gwen the Rescue Hen. It's a story of a hen who dreams of something more until a tornado sets her free. Wow, that sounds very interesting. What I did with my books is base it on a true story of how an animal could actually escape their fate that millions of animals have being going to industrial slaughterhouses. So for Gwen, um, there was a slaughterhouse or a you know industrial farm that was in a tornado. And so I took that idea that was a little bit like Wizard of Oz and that was the only way that she could escape this fate. I was especially inspired to write Gwen because we've had chickens for many years. I always wanted chickens, and sometimes I'm not even sure why. I think it's because I want to be some farm woman, but I'm here in San Francisco. So um, I love chickens, and there is this idea with chickens and with birds, people like to dismiss them. I think it's an easy way to make them the other, the way we do for anybody we want to victimize or take advantage of. Um, but to think of them as, you know, call them bird brains or you're like a chicken with its head off as if they're stupid. And chickens are amazing animals. And so when I wrote that book, Gwen the Rescue Hen, I wanted to write it and try to convey how smart they are in ways that is not what we think of as smart, but they're incredible animals. They have this like um, amazing ability to see the way their eyes are constructed. They can see so many more colors than we see. They see the world in this magnified way and very smart about protecting themselves. Now let's hear a bit more of the story. It was like any other day. 
Gwen, the hen, was crammed in a cage among all the other hens. They barely had any space to turn around, let alone spread their wings. Suddenly, a monstrous tornado started howling and blowing towards the chicken farm. Horrified, the chickens trembled in fear, but none of them could do anything except stay where they were. Hoo-woo! 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 Bang! 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 The doors slammed open. Whoosh! The roof was gone! Kaboom! Gwen's cage flew up high into the sky with the strong gust of the tornado. There's a big tornado, and then suddenly, kind of magically, Gwen, who's in this cage, lands somewhere. Clonk! The cage has landed. Hen struggles to get right side up. What is this place? She blinks, taking it all in. Sunlight, it streams into the cage. Colors, so many colors. The greenest greens, yellowest yellows, and reddest reds. Swoosh! Hen watches a silvery rush of flapping wings soar just beyond her cage before disappearing into the sky. Rock! says Hen. The biggest chicken she's ever seen is staring at her, and she thinks it's kind of like this chicken god or something talking to her. The story is getting so exciting. Bok, Hen says to her, Bok, Bok, say the other chickens, because she's in a cage with several other chickens. The big chicken doesn't say peep. Hen cocks her head confused. Chickens always talk to each other. Something's wrong with this one, besides her being so enormous. Bok? She tries one last time, nothing. And then just then, another strong gust blows. The cage teeters, topples, and plunges to the ground. Wow, the cage landed on the ground. What will happen to these chickens? It's like a suspense movie. I highly recommend you read the book to find the answers. Having chickens and other animals as companions at home, what does Miss Crawford say about them? It's just, life is so much more fun and educational. When I go out to the garden, because my daughter has spent so much time with our chickens, they're very friendly. So there's one picture I've shared with you but I was leaning over and three of the chickens just jumped on my back. It was so funny. It's because none of us are afraid of each other. We know each other somehow. And it's just so funny and fun to live your life where you spend time with an animal. And I'm sure anybody who has a dog or a cat knows that, that you really know this creature. And it's also fun to live life you know, in the company of creatures where they're your your friends. Miss Crawford show us how smart and amazing chickens are. There are also many videos demonstrating how intelligent they are. Sprig the rescue pig and Gwen the rescue hen allow us to explore the intelligence and emotions of animals, even though some people still consider them as livestock. How can we help them understand? I try to treat anybody who's still eating meat with compassion and not shame them and hope that the smallest thing they can do to really think about how they're treating other creatures and do a little bit better every day that they'll get there the way I did. My wish is that everybody would stop eating animals, but um, I need to also have compassion for them and just encourage them to do the best they can, even if it's a small thing every day. Change can happen from small actions every day, and change can happen from reading a children's book. Miss Leslie Crawford, we wish your books will touch the hearts and minds of many people and enable them to adopt the compassionate plant-based diet so all animals can live a happy life without being rescued by a sudden stop of the truck or train or even a tornado. We wish more kind-hearted and talented artists like you write books for children to adopt a vegan world. For more information on Leslie Crawford's books, please visit chelseagreen.com forward slash writer forward slash Leslie Crawford. Follow Miss Crawford on Twitter at Leslie Mick Crawford. We welcome your creative ideas and feedback to help us improve our program. 
Kids Wonderland. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash KW. Precious viewers, we hope you have enjoyed today's show, Into the World of Rescue Animals with Miss Leslie Crawford, Vegan, Part 2 of 2. Up next is Aeonic Aminations from the Gnostic Nag Hammadi Library, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. May you feel the blessings and love from the animals around you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash kw. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule et suprememastertv.com baroblique kw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada kw. برامجونا متوفرة بالعديد من اللغات يرجى زيارة suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule و suprememastertv.com forward slash kw Vegan, what else man? 